Hey guys, this is Shukesh Bonik from Gadgets Portal and today I have with me one of the most innovative phones of 2013. It's LG G2 and I really liked the bold out of the box thinking of LG not only on the hardware but also on the software. In this video, I am going to talk about the very special features and the hidden tips and tricks of this very beautiful phone. Now when this phone is in sleep mode, you can double tap on the screen to turn on the display. This feature is being called knock on. Now as you can see, I have put pattern password in this phone and you can put two passwords for your LG G2. One is for your normal unlocking and another is for your very very handy guest mode which is a completely new profile with selected applications. So in this way you can share this phone with your friends and protect your personal data and sensitive applications from others. You can customize, you can add more applications to this guest mode. Well, you must have noticed that I can turn off the display that is lock the phone with a double tap on the empty space of the home and I can also do the same with double tap on the notification bar when i have opened any application i can turn off the display with a double tap on the top this knock on feature feels extremely useful to me i have already mentioned you can double tap on the empty space of the home to lock the phone now without the password there are some cool gestures and animations you can get on this lock screen you can also apply lots of other animations into this lock screen. So this is a powerful beast with a beautiful heart. I have run some benchmarks and the results are breathtaking. You can add widgets to the lock screen. As you know this phone is running on Android 4.2.2. That's why you get these stock Android features. You can also put some applications shortcut at the bottom part of the phone. You can also include your name, your emergency contact number, especially if you have put a password. I will show you how can you do this from the settings. Now you can launch camera from your lock screen with a single swipe to the left. This is a stock Android feature and you have to turn on the display for this. On this G2 LG has gone further. You can now launch the camera without turning on the phone with the help of the volume down key at the back. Just press and hold the volume down key for a while to launch the camera just like a conventional camera key and you can also use the same key for capturing images which is very useful for self portrait. If you press and hold the volume up key for a while you can launch the note taking application quick memo. You don't have to unlock the phone and search for this app to take notes. So LG has done a really fantastic job by implementing such nice tweaks without even unlocking the phone. Let me show you few more options for the lock screen. Along with the pattern password you can put face unlock that is you can take an image of yourself and set that as a password so that you can just look at the phone and unlock it. That is really cool. This is the option for putting some owner info that is your emergency contact number. As I told you before you can put some applications shortcut on the lock screen. Unlike Samsung phones, though featuring hundreds of features this LG G2 is super fast throughout the user interface. Applications open much faster compared to Galaxy S4 and even Note 3. The features of this phone are also nothing less than those phones. You can pinch to get all the home screens at once and you can pinch out to hide all of the applications. The display of this phone is also very very beautiful. As this is a tips and tricks review, I am not going to talk about the performance and the quality of the hardware. I will upload another dedicated review for that. You can move applications on the home screen by tilting the phone. As you know if you press and hold the home. You can get the task manager and you can clear all of your running applications at once. Again if you swipe up from the bottom edge of the display, you can get Google Now and Q Voice, which is as you know a voice assistance service from LG. On the right you are getting quick memo for taking notes. 
well guys i hope that you are really enjoying this step by step tips and tricks on this lg g2 i am going to upload a lot more videos on this amazing phone so make sure you subscribe and keep in touch the next feature i am going to show you is quite interesting after opening any application if you swipe left with three fingers you can hide that application and you can hide up to three applications at a time to get back those three apps you can swipe right with three fingers and you can click any one you can also dismiss that is close any application just by a swipe when you have only one application hidden you can get back the whole application with a three finger swipe you can switch between applications just like so you can customize this beautiful phone in a lot of ways even you can change the icons there are lots of other icons and you can even change the dimension of this app icon in this way you can highlight your favorite applications on this super smartphone as you know this phone sports an infrared blaster at the top and with the help of an application called quick remote you can use this phone as a remote for tv air conditioner etc there is another extremely handy application or feature lg has included into this g2 this is called quick slide or q slide and you can launch these applications on the q slide it's like the small apps feature of xperia phones you will get these applications as a pop-up window and you can move it anywhere you can resize and even you can make this transparent if you are doing anything behind these q slide apps this pop-up browser is the most handy here you can search for anything without interrupting what you are doing on this phone so multitasking on this lg g2 is as easy as that from the notification window as you know you can set the brightness to auto but you can also set the threshold of the brightness that is you can choose your preference of always bright or always dim display i have already given you a glimpse of this quick memo or q memo app there is an extremely handy option here with this icon you can disable the android icons at the bottom and this is a must have feature for all the note taking applications on all the large display smartphones especially on the samsung galaxy note series phones i always accidentally touch on the capacitive keys at the bottom of note 3 i currently have you can also quickly make the note transparent with the second option here you can take a screenshot of the display this is quite useful in maps you can give directions and you can also annotate any image from the web there are different types of pens and you can also crop any part of the note with the help of these selection tools here on this g2 lg also included miracast or miracast peer-to-peer -peer wireless screencast or screen share option via wi-fi direct you can mirror the display to any other smartphone or even tvs with wi-fi the notification toggle switches are customizable that is you can put only the important ones at the front just drag this to rearrange next let me show you some tricks on the dialer this huge 5.2 inches display may feel kind of large for some of you but you can get this one-handed operation and now the whole keyboard is under my thumb you can even edit the tabs on the dialer so this lg g2 is all about customization and gesture graphics etc from the contacts menu there is a very interesting option i am going to show you this is called view talk and with this feature you can share the screen in real time with your friends you can draw anything on the quick memo you can also chat in real time you can share your location through maps or images whatever you do on your phone your friend's phone will do the same LG has included lots of motion gestures here like if you pick up the phone and put it to your ear the phone will directly call the contact when you get a call you can silent the ringtone just by flipping if you pick up the phone from a flat surface the ringtone will fade out automatically 
there are lots of other motion gestures and I'll show you all of those step by step so be with me you can also make your incoming calls to pop up on your screen you can even make the caller info hidden let me show you what are the settings you should check for this the first option will enable you to make the incoming calls pop up and this privacy keeper will hide the caller info with the help of the secondary microphone this option can enhance the voice clarity in noisy areas and you can also check this connection vibration to get vibration when other party answers the call this power button ends call is a must on feature of this phone you can disconnect the call anytime you don't have to bring the phone in front of your eyes and touch on the display in the sound settings there is a smart ringtone option which will increase the phone ringtone volume automatically in noisy areas you can change the phone vibration pattern and you can even create one you can put different vibration patterns for different contacts so that you can guess who is calling when your phone is into your pocket there is another quite interesting option with this feature this phone will read out all the information of a caller and information of the person sending you a message you can even make this phone to read out the message for you so you don't have to reach out for the phone every time you get unnecessary messages or calls you can set different volumes for your ringtone multimedia system sounds and notifications this is accessible from the notification panel as well well guys i've shown you lots of features on this lg g2 and this is just the start i am going to upload two more episodes on this awesome phone and if you really enjoyed my step by step review style then make sure you subscribe and keep in touch all i need is your support otherwise my effort will go in vain you can check the channel for more reviews on galaxy note 3 galaxy s4 note 2 etc I have uploaded this type of videos on those phones as well. Overall this LG G2 is an awesome device. I do recommend this phone to all of you guys. I liked this phone not only for the features but also for the smoothness of the user interface which you cannot find on popular Samsung phones. Check the description below for the second episode. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.